Audi had unveiled an electric car concept of the future at the Shanghai Auto Show. And, you know, concepts are a funny thing, right? But but Audi has been following up uh, their concepts with actual cars. As you know, e-tron is driving around in the streets in Europe. It's coming here to the United States next month. I'm a reservation holder as well, as you guys know. Still 50-50 on this one. We'll see what happens. Um, but this one has, there's tons of pictures and videos for this one. And some of the concepts are very, very interesting. Uh, let's look at some pictures and videos and, and see what uh, Audi's uh, future looks like for the rest of us. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. And of course, don't forget to sign up for our newsletters uh, at e4electric.com slash VIP. That's a VIP list. All right, so um, check this out. So this is uh, the uh, the picture of uh, the concept. Um, and uh, they had an they had a pretty lavish unveiling. Um, so um, this this is uh, they had a big rain show and all of that stuff. But this is their unveiling in uh, Shanghai. As you can see, um, they're just trying to kind of uh, uh, show everybody the outline of uh, what's coming up and what's already here. And just like I said, this is why um, Audi is the brand that are more behind than other legacy manufacturers um, because they are actually delivering and they're delivering relatively good stuff. Not the best stuff, but relatively good stuff, especially for legacy uh, automakers. So I'm definitely behind that. Um, let's look at the uh, back of this car as well. Um, that looks pretty interesting. Um, as you can see, the LED displays on the back, and this is where a lot of manufacturers moving to having what they call smart LED lights or smart uh, light displays where you can actually display messages and so forth. They interact a little bit more uh, uh, with you and different, you know, they can have different colors and different sequences of lights. And so it's pretty cool and it is coming. And there's no exception here. Uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of like this hatchbacks kind of cars. It doesn't look bad. It does look futuristic. I just don't think that it looks gorgeous or anything like that. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, so here's what it looks like inside. And this is pretty cool because, you know, don't forget, this is a level four autonomy that they're talking about here. So um, now look at the interior. And I'm not really that crazy about this interior. We've already seen the very, very similar thing in the BMW iNext. Um, so um, this is what the wheel looks like the, the wheel i think is pretty cool right like this is very futuristic we've seen something very similar in many other concepts including the tesla second generation roadster so this is this is really cool um let's see yeah the next one is interior as you can see the wheel can go inside of there uh kind of a and and become sort of a, as you can see the uh uh, the little uh, holder for whatever if you want to have a meal. So th I mean, this is this is this is definitely pretty cool. Um, the next one is this. Yeah. So the interior, this kind of futuristic IKEA style uh, interior, is just not for me. I I want the seats to be cushy. I want them to be. You know, this just looks really hard. And um, when I did, see, you know, uh, sit in, the, in this type of seats in the BMW i Next concept, they just didn't feel luxury. It just kind of feel almost like IKEA cheap type of thing. And don't get me wrong, I love IKEA. I have a lot of IKEA stuff in my house, um, but I'm just saying that's not what I would want in a luxury car. Not something that I would expect from uh, from. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to switch on that image as I was kind of staring at it um, from a, um, a brand like Audi. Now, let me get to a very interesting concept. And um, by the way, let me just see if. Uh, uh, the, the 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 footage from the uh, yeah maybe later I'll show you the footage of the rain but it's it's really not that big of a deal I just have to rotate this and uh, and I'm not really sure if we're really at that spot yet okay so uh, very cool concept I've never seen this before and I think there's something to it the first time I saw it I was like oh wait what uh, but uh, before that before we get there. Of course, I want to remind you that this video on this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the latest uh, and the one that's coming up, the elect all electric SUV coming to the uh, Europe and to the United States. Uh, starting at only $45,000, you can reserve it at no cost of under 60 seconds. Go to Byton.com, reserve yours, or you can go to the description of this video, do the same. I'm a reservation holder myself. You should be as well. Okay, so let's look at this new concept of the Check this out. This is the roof, right? The sunroof or whatever you want to call it. But as you can see, it's got this um, sort of wooden, almost like you would have it on your deck in your house. And then there's a plant growing. 
And I was like, wait, what? I, that, now I need a gardener for my car. But then I started thinking, started thinking like, actually, this is kind of cool. Now their idea of, um, sorry, their idea of um, the um, actual like plant growing in there. Oh yeah, there you go. See, see, this is this is a pretty cool view. Their idea is that the car is going to be all sealed. It's going to have kind of a buyer defense mechanism like Tesla has right now, which by the way is really cool. I was driving in the Tesla. Uh, a couple of days ago with a biotech me uh, defense mechanism and uh, the filters and stuff like that. It went through like a cow farm, so it smelled horrible. But like literally within a couple of minutes, you t I turned that on and it filtered all the smell out. So that that's pretty impressive. Anyway, so, uh, you know, obviously cars in the future will have that and you'll be able to actually add some oxygen and some, f you know, freshness uh, from the plants. Now, I think it's a cool concept. I'm not really sure how it would work because, you know, what about the bugs? What about the water? Like all of this stuff. But I got to say, cool concept. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it because I think it's pretty damn good. Now, um, there's a, a, a video of it also uh, kind of uh, uh, going through the streets and you can see from different sides and stuff like that. Not really sure if it doesn't have the lights on. And again, the lights are pretty cool because you will be able to uh, have one light and it will be able to display anything like any type of color like um, green or uh, yellow or red and so forth. Um, so that is definitely something that's that's coming just as a technology of the future. So I'm, I've, I've really kind of enjoyed that. Um, uh, seeing on so many different concepts. Um, so yeah, now there are not many specs. I think this is, a, they were saying it's a 65 kilowatt hour uh, battery, 125 kilo uh, motor, uh, but I really don't care about the specs. This is more about what we're seeing uh, in terms of the future, uh, what it's going to look like. Um, and I like it except for the interior, just like I told you, I, I'm not really that excited about it. So um, let me know, let me know in the comment section, do you think this is the new luxury for the car to have it all kind of modern like that? Or would you like kind of keep with a more of a Mercedes, Audi, BMW uh, uh, type of a feel as, as it is right now? Because you know, luxury is luxury. You can't really have a new take on it uh, without uh, maybe compromising the luxury. So let me know what you think. Of course, uh, just another quick reminder to sign up with our uh, VIP list. You can do that at uh, e4electric.com slash VIP. Also, um, there's a link in the description of this video. And thank you to one of my newer Patreons, Vic Aiden. Thank you so much for joining. The only place where you can watch me live, if you want to join us there, boom, patreon.com slash e4electric. Thank you to all of my Patreons for uh, supporting and contributing to my independent uh, YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.